So that was obviously our unboxing. So let me walk you through what's going to be inside when you pick up your Oculus Quest for either $3.99 or $4.99, depending on whether or not you want 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. I said giggle. All right, so the first thing in the box is the, really the main thing. This is the Oculus Quest itself. Uh, the headset, it looks and feels really nice and premium. It's kind of a, a canvasy material. It's adjustable for whatever noodle size you guys have. That goes there. You're gonna have two controllers. It's kind of nice, they got included wrist straps here, so make sure you don't lose them or flay them across the room. Some booklets, USB Type-C cable, power brick, two AA batteries, and that's all you need to get your VR on. So before we set it up, I do wanna give a big thank you to Oculus for sponsoring this video. If you wanna learn more about the Oculus Quest, link down below. All right, so download the Oculus app first for either iOS or Android. Start the pairing process, so it says to plug it in, so I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna look inside for a five-digit code. Got a big head. All right, so I just went through, we did all the unboxing of the Oculus Quest. I'm about to put it on for the first time. Try some VR sand cables. All right, so one of the cool things about the Oculus Quest, obviously you can play it anywhere, but you can't see like what's around you when you're doing VR, so you always have a word you're gonna run into a wall or run into somebody. So you can actually set up boundaries for whatever space you are in, and they made it really simple. All right, so I'm gonna confirm floor levels. I look down, I can see the little X's on the floor, I confirm. And then define my play area, so. Actually, I pretty much just draw out my area that I wanna be in, so I'm gonna draw it out and I can see the area around me, make sure I'm not gonna run into anything. All right, so I got my play area drawn out. Not a huge area, but it'll be big enough to continue. So now I hit that, I see this almost like a whole wall go up around me, so I can look around and make sure it's correctly positioned. And then as you get close to those boundaries, as you sort of walk up to it, you'll see the wall start to show up as you get there. And if you peek your head through it, the camera actually turns on so you can see what's around you. So I can see you know, cameras and lights and I step back, I'm back inside of that VR space and if I get a little closer, that wall starts to show up. So I know if I go past that, I could hurt myself or I could hit something. I have like a whole environment showing up around me. A whale swimming above me? That's cool. I think it's just like a load screen. Whoa. All right, so I'm gonna play Creed Rise to Glory. I don't know if I'm gonna be fighting Adonis Creed or fighting against Adonis Creed. There's a giant dude in front of me. Oh, I am Adonis Creed. All right. I've never looked this jack before. All right, I'm gonna fight this dude. This is VR done right. This is kind of what I think people always wanted with VR, is sort of that wire-free immersive experience. And the music sounds pretty good, it's pretty immersive. And I can, as I'm looking around, like I still see the whole VR experience. And I know I'd probably look super cool. But the music really like helps. And also I can hear what's going on around me without having you know noise-canceling headphones on or other headphones. So it's also, I think, extra for safety too. All right, so I just finished my first session on the Oculus Quest and I am like legit out of breath. That's probably the biggest workout that I've had in probably longer than I would like to admit. Uh, playing in Star Wars was awesome. Uh, boxing in the Donna's Creek was also awesome. Taught me that I will probably wanna get back into boxing, but also into workout more, so. So I've had a mixed reaction to VR over the years. So when first like home VR came out, it seemed awesome, but you needed crazy expensive PC to get it work. Then the experience, I didn't think it was ever that great. There's kind of that middle ground where you could use your phone as a VR headset, 
it was fine. I just never really found much of a use for it. Um, this was really the first VR experience that was super immersive. I don't know if it was not having to put on headphones, but actually hearing the VR come through. I didn't have the worry that I was gonna like run face first into a wall. The fencing that they've got is really cool. And if you, when you go through it, the fact that you can turn on the cameras and actually see things, um, made me feel a bit more comfortable and think let me enjoy the VR experience. A bit more knowing I wasn't gonna like injure myself. There's still no cure for how ridiculous you look while playing VR to others. But the experience was awesome. So the games, they looked better than sort of when you have a phone inside of cardboard or a headset. They were pretty immersive. So like being able to box as Adonis Creed and actually like legitimately get a workout uh, was also neat. I could see the potential here and sort of built in to the Oculus Quest, you also have access to normal apps. So I was admittedly shameless plug watching my own YouTube video and it didn't show up as like a you know full 360, it was just a big flat, looked like a gigantic widescreen in front of me. It overall was just the most immersive VR experience I've ever had. If you want to play VR games and you want to play VR games on the go, this is a really good way to go. You know, you've removed the tether. I think you already know whether or not VR is for you. And if you decide that it is for you, this is a really incredible way to get into it, to try it, sort of have that immersive VR experience. And you kind of expect that, I guess, from, from Oculus, but thumbs up, Oculus Quest.